everyone, it's Z here. So before I start, this is a Game of Thrones video, and if you have not seen last night's episode, season 8, episode 1, please exit out now because there are spoilers. But if you want to watch one of my other videos, you can click the icon tab that is up there, and there'll be a few other videos that you can watch by me that you don't have to worry about spoilers. So now that those people are gone, let's get into this video. So I'm going to be using this Forbes article to have my thoughts together. I will leave a link to it in the pinned comment. So last night, I don't like, yeah, as I said, I don't really have my thoughts together. I wish there was a chart with like everything that happened, but I have not been able to find one of those. So we're just using this article and maybe if you would like the headlines on it, we'll get my thoughts going. So we have Euron the Queen Slayer, but that's not how the episode started. The episode started really they remind me of the first episode of Game of Thrones with the royals coming into Winterfell. And I thought it was the same music. I think it's called King, not King's Road. I don't know. I have my Game of Thrones soundtracks like right there, but um, it, it really, really reminded me of that. We had the Hound and all these other people who were a part of the first episode of the show. So that was really cool. But um, it was really just them coming into Winterfell. Arya seeing John on his horse. She saw Gentry. Um, yeah, so that was like the first scene in the show. I'm pretty sure that was. And I did not mean to click that. So you're on the Queen Slayer. Cersei, I texted my friends, I was like, Cersei better not sleep with Euron. She better not, she's too good for him. But of course she did. And Euron is a very charismatic guy, so I can understand why, but still I, and then she knows that she's pregnant with Jamie's and I think she's going to be like it's Euron's now because she's kind of pissed at Jamie because he I can't just look my foot <laughs> because he betrayed her um to go fight for the living and left her kind of alone he did leave her alone in King's Landing but I talked about that kind of in my theory video about how I think Jamie's starting to realize what Cersei is so then we have the Golden Company which I am very excited to see but no elephants um i'm excited to see how that goes um because i don't think we've seen the golden company in the show so then we go back in the north um so everybody in the north they're not very happy with john bending the knee to daenerys and also that's completely understandable nobody really likes daenerys it seems i don't like her anymore just in that episode I don't know she really really annoyed me a lot of the characters annoyed me John annoyed me um Sansa is kind of like a know-it-all now but even though I do I really like Sansa Sansa's probably my favorite out of the living characters all my other favorites are dead well the characters were just kind of annoying I don't know why they but and I'm not the only one who thinks this I've talked to some other people who agree so now we have King John slash Aegon and he's a dragon rider so John went on a dragon for the first time which I know when the trailer came out we were all like that's when John's on a ride um I think it's Rhaegal for the first time which is named after his dad so it's like <laughs> John went dragon riding and they they landed like at this waterfall place and I was I was like are they about to go in that cave and be like John and Eager because I would be super mad if they did that and I just thought he was like it's cold up here for a southern girl I was like what like I don't know I just thought that scene was kind of weird when they were like making out on the screen but um I just thought the commentary was kind of cheesy I don't know but um yeah I don't really ship John and Daenerys even before we knew that they were related um I don't know I don't really ship them I don't it's I don't know I don't know who I ship and for people who think they are not going to end up together since they are like related just know in history the time period that the show is based on the 1400s there was like cousin marriage and that kind of stuff even though today that is weird and we know that that's bad and you shouldn't do it but obviously back then they didn't have genetic testing and stuff like that they didn't um, know the science behind it they wanted to keep bloodlines pure and 
yeah. So I still think they could end up getting married. I think John and Sansa may even get married. Who knows? Um, and that wasn't really something I was thinking about going into season eight. I wasn't thinking who's going to marry who. I was thinking more of who's going to die, who's going to live kind of thing. So, um, but last night, um, is Davos, Tyrion, I don't think it was Jorah. But there was one more person with them and um i think it was davos was proposing a proposal between john and daenerys so again it could happen to unite the um thing we talked about that in last week's video and i'm gonna be doing these recap videos every week <laughs> to let y'all know i know and i was like what a john fell off the dragon and died that would be really bad but then danny goes danny and jorah they go to see sam and they tell him um well, first they were like kind of thanking him for saving Jorah's life from the grayscale. And then um, he was asking, well, Danny was like, what can I give you for saving one of my best advisors and friends on? <laughs> but um, so he was saying, you can pardon me for like stealing books from the um, library. Oh my God, it's in a box, but okay. And it, it was like really like innocent stuff and um for taking like his dad's sword i think it was and then danny's like i killed your dad because <laughs> he refused to bend the knee so he was like oh okay like obviously upset so he's like my brother's lord now and daenerys is like yeah burned him alive too so he just found out that basically all the men in his family are dead and yeah we're burned alive and so he's just like give me a moment and he leaves and he goes to bran he's like we need to tell john who he is <laughs> and so bran's like you're his like most trusted friend you go tell him um sam goes to the crypts <laughs> he's like falling down he's really clumsy in there and um so he goes to john and john is in front of ned's like statue um memorial thing i don't know so leaving candles um and so he is telling john that daenerys burnt his family alive and apparently john didn't know so john is like oh my gosh that's terrible i'm so sorry sam's like she shouldn't be queen and that's obviously treachery to say that and um so john's like don't say that and all that he's like i'm not a king anymore i bent the knee to save my people and um he's like i sam's like i didn't mean king of the north i meant king of the bloody seven kingdoms and john's like what the <laughs> um so he's like and then he tells john his heritage that Lyanna stark is his mother and regard targaryen is his father and that ned did not lie what well, he did but to protect john because robert would have had him killed so John found out that he's Aegon Targaryen and that he is the heir to the Iron Throne. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I was so scared that John was going to be like, you can't tell anybody this. Daenerys is who we need as queen. And then, but one line that really stuck out is Sam was like, do you think she would have given her, like laid her crown down to save her people? And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I don't think she would. Who knows? Yeah, I really don't know what everybody's reaction is going to be to that. I don't know. So another umber <laughs> bites the dust. Yeah. Um, oh, but yeah, we had Arya meeting with Gendry and the Hound. I really liked that scene because those are some of my favorite characters. And then we have Jamie gets to win. Oh, I left out a big part. I'll talk about that after Jamie. Jamie gets to Winterfell and Bran is sitting there and it's like, Oh, <laughs> we meet again. So Bran said earlier in the episode that he was waiting for an old friend and the old friend is Jamie. So that was a reunion that I'm really excited about. And um, how I think Bran's the Night King. I think Jamie's gonna kill the Night King and that story kind of comes full circle. That And then he did kill Bran. <laughs> um, but back to Theon and Yara, Theon, um, so one of my theories is uh, not gonna happen. So I thought, so Euron and Cersei are all hooking up and all. I just remember another part too. That, um, so Theon goes and they kill all of these people in Euron's ship, his crew, and he saves Yara. 
and they're going or Yara is going to the Iron Islands because all Euron has all his stuff in King's Landing so it's basically empty so she's gonna go claim what is hers and Theon is gonna go north to fight with the Starks and I'm like Theon <laughs> but yeah I'm really glad that he did save her and she didn't seem too mad with him um I was really excited for that, but I thought that he was going to die in the process of doing that. That was my original theory, but he didn't. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is Bronn. Um, Kyburn brings him a crossbow. And if you remember, Tyrion killed Tywin with a crossbow. So they are he is being offered a big reward if he can kill Tyrion. And I thought Jamie too because I thought they said Chartreuse's brother so I don't know if he's gonna kill both of them so I don't think Brahan would do it but again he may I really don't know um so going back north we have Tormund, Beric Dondarrion and I guess some other people and they are going because they were out the wall and it collapsed you know the White Walkers happened so they're going to the Umbers place. I think it was the Umbers, which is it Last Hearth where the Umbers are from? I get the Umbers. Yeah, because car hold is where the car starks are. So they go to Last Hearth and they are looking for White Walkers, I guess. I don't really know. And there's the little Umber boy's body like pinned to a wall with the body parts all around him. And they're talking to him and then the guy is it one of the ones from the Night's Watch, one of John's friends are talking and then you see the blue eyes light up behind them with the boy on the wall and he just starts screaming and all so they light that hole on fire and that's how the episode ended. I I think that's how, yeah. I didn't know that or it ended with Jamie and Bran. Not sure. But that was the recap for last night's episode. I'm really, really worried about Jamie next week. He better not die or I will hate Daenerys even more because I mad respect for him for ignoring what Cersei wanted to do and him thinking for himself. I'm really proud of him for that. Good job, Jamie. But um, click that subscribe button for next week. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.